fantastic shaped glider yacht at London on Water at St Catherine Docks and Robert's going to tell us a little bit more about it and how you can book a viewing or a sea trial and possibly purchase. Okay, good morning. Um, Glider Yacht has been 10 years in the making. It's all about grace and style on the water, underpinned by power and stability. Unlike conventional vessels that bounce from wave to wave, with the occupants taking a pounding, um, a glider that goes straight through at wave trough level, so there's no up and down. You, you know, you could go from Monaco to Saint Tropez in 45 minutes, um, sipping champagne on the way. The production of the SS18 um, cost a million, um, and we'll go from uh, and it's really sorry. That's really our entry vessel. The one that follows it is the XS18, which has the two front engines removed and two turbines, and that will do over 100 knots. So a lot faster, but look very very similar. Other than when you hear it with two turbines running, you'll have it's the turbine version. Um, then we we start build this year our limousine, which is 24 meters. That's 80 foot to British people. That will um, seat 12 people um, in a similar setting or feel that you would get in a Learjet. You know, beautifully imposed, extra headroom and width compared to a Learjet. With the same kind of interior layout, um, two, two crew places up front, just like you would have in a private jet again. Um, and that's designed really for, for multiple uh, markets. Those that have a private island or a private resort in the Bahamas or down in the Greek islands or anywhere in the Med or as a super yacht tender, so take guests to and from the main yacht, mm -hmm. or if some guests wanted to go in Gustavia shopping in St. Bart's and the others wanted to go to Barbuda in Antigua, the glider limousine, which we call the SL24, that travelling at 60, 70 knots would safely at 600 mile range take the other guests off to Barbuda snorkelling while the girls went shopping in yeah, St. Bart's. <laughs> Good. But their tactical stepping stands for a target market which is sports super yachts from 35 meter up to 80 meter. Um, that's 115 foot up to 265 foot. Yeah. Okay. These boats are similar in stature, only obviously <laughs> four or five times bigger, with onboard accommodation to the same standards you'd expect in a top New York hotel room. The rooms have full length windows, unlike conventional yachts that have portholes. So you have much better interior light, we're not constrained by the whole form shapes where you have cabins down below and you've got all of the so you open a wardrobe and you know it comes in at the bottom. Yeah. So it's um that you could call them state rooms. We have a five piece bathroom suite each and the 35 has eight guests and four crew and as you step up you go up to twelve guests and up to sixteen crew on the um, GT eighty, which is eighty meters, which is the largest one we plan at the moment. So that's really about a range of where we're going. Um, this first build of one of our sports super yachts, the GT35, starts early next year. Um, but late this year we start to build the limousine. Okay. So the limousine should be um, publicly launched at Monaco next year. We're taking this boat off to the London on Water show, our SS18, we call her M. Okay. Uh, we're taking her down to Cannes, then Monaco. After Monaco, she'll be shipped out to Fort Lauderdale for the Fort Lauderdale show. Okay, yeah. Then she'll come back to England. She'll have her two front engines, oh sorry, all four engines, a 300 horsepower supercharged. So she has 1,200 horsepower. But the two front engines will be removed and replaced with 1,300 horsepower turbines. So that gives her a total horsepower of, oh, I need help with the maths. It's uh, over 3,000 horsepower in a vessel that weighs in under three tonne. So okay. it's 1,000 horsepower per tonne. So it's it very, very exciting. So you'll be able to race the cigarette boats around uh, the Keys in the States, but you'll be doing it comfortably sipping champagne while they're, they're getting the hell pounded out of them. Excellent. So that's um, So amazing. we plan to do some events like the Cows to Torquay race. We'll go and... Um, let us show her stuff down there. Okay. But it's not about racing, it's about traveling fast gracefully. And, you know, we try to capture the beauty and the timeless design of things like the, you know, 
with the E-Type Jaguar, the Ferrari GTO, and beautiful, curvaceous, timeless styling lines, where simplicity is really our eccentricity. It's all about beauty and grace on the water. Excellent. So um, have you got any, is it an in-house design team that's built, that's yeah, helped with the it's construction? It's British team, all okay. British design, all British funded, we're friends and family to date. Okay. We're currently in negotiation with a British billionaire regarding um, a significant investment. Excellent. Um, we, where possible, um, select all British partners. We have a preference for it being an all British affair. Okay. Although. Um, the engines, for example, in the bigger boats is sort of Faschini, beautiful Italian engines we'll be using because they're the best in the world for power to weight ratio. So where, 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 us, um, where the British don't have a solution, we'll go to the best in the world and it's the same with our partners. Um, we, we have a policy of no compromise in materials or components or finish or fitting. There, are, there is no compromise on a glider and we believe our clientele are prepared to pay for having no compromises on their, their vessel. It's not just a boat, it's a thing of beauty. Yeah. So So you'll be in, introducing it to things like Style Awards or hoping to win some Style Awards? Yeah, a lot of um, the marketing and PR people are talking about that. And we're not really looking for pats on the back. Okay. Anybody who looks at it can see it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, and do we need to go and collect trophies to say it's beautiful? It'd be nice, but we're not going to put ourselves out for that. It's all about satisfying our clients and okay. making sure they have something that's as unique as their fingerprint. It's perfect for them and it does what they need it to do. Excellent. And um, how would you define your client type? I would say that the very privileged, the people that have worked very hard and want something different. They, they, they want to be able to go from Monaco down to Sardinia for the weekend and stay in a beautiful hotel with a guy that parked outside and then shoot across to Isla de Margarita and places like that. And yeah. Park it on the beach. Yeah. The conventional yachts travelling at half the speed and rocking and rolling all of the way. They've been there, done that. We're, we're targeting the younger ultra high net worth. I mean, the, the world is creating them very quickly in you know, the banking sectors and, and so on. And well, according to USB Warburg and Wealthex, 2,800 were created in Europe alone last year. Oh, wow. Um, and if you listen to the industry leaders and key opinion leaders of the industry, the secure industry, they say these guys and girls, and there's a larger percentage of women that are becoming ultra high net worth, which comfort and grace for them they might find are very appealing. We hope they do. Okay. Um, for them, they don't want to vote like their granddad had the conventional wedding cake stacked up. They want something different, they want something cool, exciting, fun. It's, it's a statement of their success, so they don't want an antiquated design that's the same as everyone else's. They well, yachts are about standing out quite a bit with people, isn't yeah, it? So. It's an extension of their personality, an extension of their style, of their success. Mm -hmm. And um, they want something cool to show off. Excellent. And um, obviously you said like it could be used mainly as a limousine. Um, and you're looking at corporate services as well, so for hospitality events? Um, we have considered that, but we're trying to keep the exclusivity. So okay. if somebody has a glider, it, it's quite a privileged thing to have, because we'll only build so many, and they'll be for selected clientele. We won't just let anybody have a glider. Yeah. For obvious reasons to protect our technology and design, but also for the, exclusi the exclusivity. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, so when we're at Monaco in say two years time with the GT35 and the limo, there'll be people that wanted to go out and ride on one and, and have a jolly on one. Yeah. I don't really think we'd entertain that unless they were interested in buying one. Okay, that's fair enough. I say that we are a business and you know, I'm the CEO, but I listen very closely and work with a great team. And if the marketing and PR team see that they're, that promotes our business in a positive light, increase our brand, and our brand perception from our target clients, I think yeah. we'd do it. Okay, that's very good. Excellent, thank you very much Robert.